Hi everyone and welcome back to Rainbow Nails. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing five of the latest Dixie Plates stamping plates for you. So if you'd like to see some of the swatches and designs, just stay tuned. So first up we've got the mini plates from Dixie, which is a new design. It's a lot smaller than the um, original plate design. Um, as you can see, the size difference here. So I'm just going to show you some of the images on the plates. This is the tea party plate. We've got some really cute little cakes and uh, teapots and stuff on there. Then we've got the awareness plate, which has got the breast cancer ribbons. Uh, it's got the autism symbols. Um, it's rare that you see a plate like that, so that's really cute. Next up, we've got DP12, which has got lots of nice tribal images on. Uh, you've got some of the illusion images and like some sort of water marble images as well. Then we've got the Dixie Plates and Sarah Richardson collaboration plate, uh, which has got some really nice floral and sort of oriental images on there. Uh, that one here is a layering design, so you stamp the branches and then the cherry blossoms on top. Then uh, lastly, we've got the Autumn 01 plate, which has got some amazing leaves, um, some sort of wood grains, wood prints on there. Um, really nice for your autumn sets of nails. So for stamping today I'm going to be using my clear jelly stamper, a credit card scraper and a lint roller to clean my stamper with in between stamping. I'm also going to be using lots of stamping polishes from Hit The Bottle. So I've just got a few swatch sticks here with some magpie gels on. All of the uh, colours that I'm stamping on today are gel polishes from Magpie Beauty. I'm going to start by cleaning the plate with acetone and a lint free wipe. So I'm just going to stamp this gingham check design in white over the red gel polish. So it looks a bit like a uh, tablecloth or a picnic blanket. really cute. Next I'm going to stamp this design uh, with little hearts in it. It's got like a frame in the centre for you to put something inside. I'm really pleased with how well that has stamped. That's come out really nicely. So now I'm just going to add one of the little cupcakes into the centre of the design. I'm just going to stamp that one and remove any of the excess with the back of my scraper and then stamp it in the centre of the design. And finally from this plate I'm just going to stamp these really cute little teacups. Uh, in red stamping polish and pop that one over the white gel. So now I'm going to take some stamping polishes and colour in the little cupcake design. I'm just going to use a little dotting tool and dab some blobs into the middle of the cupcake just to fill in uh, with a little bit of colour.
So once it's dry, I'm going to take some of the Magpie Give Me Strength Structure Gel, place a blob on top and just spread it out slightly because I want it to be like a sort of raised gemstone effect on top of the cupcake just to give it a little bit of uh, 3D texture. Once you're happy with the placement of the gel, cure in your lamp and top coat the design. And here are all three of the designs from the Tea Party plate, top coated and finished. I hope you like them. So next up we've got the Awareness plate, which is a really cool plate because it's got lots of different charity symbols and sayings. Got the breast cancer charities, got autism, got the little male and female symbols down at the bottom for pride. It's a really cool plate and you don't see one like this very often. So I think lots of people will appreciate that they can incorporate these designs into different manicures. Um, I'm just going to be using the breast cancer ribbon here um, in pink stamping polish over a pink gel um, because this symbol is very important to me and I'm sure lots of other people as well so just wanted to try this one out as well and I'm also going to be adding the little hope uh, the word hope there with the ribbon incorporated into it as well so I'm just going to stamp that one on underneath now So next I chose to stamp this really cool design down here which is the breast cancer ribbons and the little bras as well which is a really cool design. Um, I'm just going to stamp that one in pink as well. <music> Lastly I'm just stamping the puzzle pieces which is the symbol for autism. I'm just stamping this one in black with white um, but you could get any colours and fill in the little puzzle pieces to finish your design. So here are the three images top coated and finished. I think it's really great that Kate has designed a plate like this because I've never come across one like it before and I think it's great that people can raise awareness for these causes incorporated into their manicure. Now moving on to the regular size plates, uh, starting off with DP12 and some turquoise gels and stamping polishes. So using white stamping polish and this lovely Aztec design down at the bottom of the plate, I'm just stamping this over a nice mint green gel polish. And this image is stamped really well and really clear as you can see now. Using a silver, I'm just going to stamp this lovely, again, Aztec sort of tribal image over this nice turquoise green. It's stamped really well again. It stands out really nicely over this colour. Another really pretty image. Just using turquoise with this one because it reminds me of the sea. Um, I'm just popping this one on top of the same turquoise base. Again, that's stamped really nicely. And finally, another sort of marbled water type image. I really like these. Um, again, using a greeny color and stamping over turquoise. So I think these colors really complement the images. Now just grabbing some of the Magpie gel in Anastasia Steel, which is a lovely silver, and a dotting tool. I'm just gonna 
add a little bit of silver to some of the turquoise bubbles on this design just to add a little bit of uh, depth to the design. So I'm just continuing to add little bits of the silver gel to the design. Once I'm happy, I'm just going to top coat and cure in the lamp. So here are the four images from DP12, top coated and finished. I really like this plate. I think it goes really nicely with these colors, but you can obviously use any colors you like with these images. Moving on to the Dixie Plates and Sarah R collaboration plate. I'm gonna use this layered image at the top, which is the cherry blossom image you stamp the branches first I'm just using this nice coppery brownie color stamp that one first onto the nail and then using a different color I'm gonna stamp the lovely little cherry blossoms on top of the branches it's a really clever idea. Sorry that the stamper keeps going completely out of shot on the camera. <laughs> okay, so that's layered really nicely. And it's a really easy and effective design. Next I want to try this paisley design and as you can see here it's stamped so clearly it's picked up every fine detail. Now I'm going to try this lotus flower design and I'm just stamping that in pink over this lovely lilac colour. It's a really pretty and unusual design this one. And finally, these really cute little oriental flowers with little fans in between each one. And I'm just stamping that in the lilac over a purple gel. And now just to add the last little finishing touches, I'm using a dotting tool and a little bit of gel polish, just adding it to the centre of each flower. And then I'm going to kill that one in the lamp. And I'm just doing the same with the little cherry blossoms. I'm just adding a tiny little bit of lilac gel polish into the center of each flower. And I'm going to kill that one as well before top coating. So here are the four finished designs from this gorgeous plate. I love all of the floral ones, as you can see I always seem to pick those over anything else. Um, I really like the paisley one as well, but it's such fine detail in each image and it's stamped so nicely. So I really love these ones. 
and the final plate from the new collection of Dixie plates is the Autumn 01. I'm going to be stamping over these lovely autumn colours from Magpie Beauty. So the first image I'm choosing here is this lovely wood grain image at the top. Uh, I'm just using a nice shimmery brown over a beigey nude um, because I think it looks really effective with this design. And again, the lines on this image are so fine, but it's stamped really, really clearly. Now I'm just going to stamp these lovely leaves with this nice copper colour. And I'm going to put that one over a nice dark plummy burgundy base. Choose these lovely maple leaves. I love these sorts of designs. I really can't wait to start using them on my clients now that it's coming to that time of year. So, lastly, I'm just going to choose this lovely image down here, which is of the wheat, sort of in the wheat fields. I'm going to double stamp this image, I'm going to do gold and then copper on top. I really like this design, it reminds me of sort of like harvest, Thanksgiving um, and well just autumn really <laughs> so <laughs> I really like this plate, I'm going to be using it a lot I think. And here are the four finished and top coated designs from the autumn plate. I really love all of these colours together. It's my favourite time of year for nails, so I'm going to be using this one lots. So apologies for the super long video. Um, I had to fit all of those plates in one video. Thanks so much to Kate at Dixie Plates for sending me these gorgeous plates for review. I really love each and every one of them. So thanks for watching and see you soon.